Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Hope you're having a great Monday and I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I wanted to show you what I'm fixing for our lunch today. I had bought um, some market breakfast sausage. Not the kind that's uh, like Jimmy Dean or Tennessee Pride. This was at Piggly Wiggly and it's made in their market. You know, to me, I, I just love it. It tastes fresh. And I have cooked most of that pound that I had bought because we like to have breakfast for supper. And I had made it the other night with some biscuits and eggs, but I thought, I don't want this sausage to ruin. So I'm gonna show you what I did with it. There was about a half a pound left and I chopped about half of an onion and I cooked that together. I just browned it like I would if it was hamburger meat with the onion. And if it needs draining, you would drain any grease at, at this time. Okay, now I'm making this recipe up. I don't have it anywhere. Some of you are gonna say, can you use hamburger meat? You can use anything you want. This is just what I'm showing you that I'm making up kind of today. It's very similar to another dish that I make. But because it was only about a half a pound, I grated just a little cheddar cheese, whatever you would like. Okay, since this is done, I'm putting that in there to melt. The other day, I can't remember what it was that I cooked, but it only called for four ounces of cream cheese. So I saved the other. I don't think I'm gonna put all of this in there because it's not that much um, sausage that I'm using. But I'm gonna put about this much. It's probably, a, would be about three ounces. And the only thing we're doing right now is melting the cheese. And when that melts, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. While I'm doing this, while that's melting, let me, let me tell you, Harold and I probably have two more days of shipments on this uh, cookbook order that's in right now. It's probably about 180, maybe 170 cookbooks left in this order. So you know I've start, we all started at the bottom and we've come up and I've tried to do Venmo, PayPal and mail orders at the same. And I know, I know that you sent your payment October the 5th, I know that. And that's about where I am right now. But I do have another order that will be here by the end of the week and it's gonna be plenty to get the rest of the orders out. Thank you for your patience. Let me check this cheese. Also, I appreciate all the prayers, the comments and everything about our precious baby Blake. He is really a miracle. He's doing wonderful for the obstacles that he's having to overcome. And his mom sent me a text this morning. She's already at the hospital and he weighs two pounds, 10 ounces. So he's gaining weight. And I don't know if I've already told you this or not, but he was born with one kidney. But that kidney is working so great. And I will update daily and let you know all the things that God has already answered our prayers for. But let me get this over here so I can show you what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna tell you this. 
This week, I don't know if it'll be Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, I'm going to mix my cornbread dressing up. I'm not going to cook it. I'm going to mix it, and I'm going to freeze it. And then Thanksgiving, the day before, I'll set it out, and, you know, I'll cook it then. But you've been wanting to know how I make my dressing, and I'm going to show you this week. Let me get a hot pad to put this on right here because I don't want to burn my cabinet. Okay. Can you see? All right, I'm going to sit that right there. And I have a can of crescent rolls. This is some that I bought at Aldi. I don't know if you have Aldi where you live. It's not close here. It's about 20 miles away. But I'm going to tell you, it really saves money. And I like most everything that I get there. There's just a couple of things that I won't buy there. One thing is I'm a mayonnaise um, brand person. And I think that's pretty true for all of you. You know, I, I know some of you like Kraft and some Hellman's and some Dukes and all, but our favorite in our house is Bama, and it's made in Alabama. So I know you can't get it everywhere. You can't even get it in Louisiana where my son and his family live, but I think the closest thing to it that I have tasted is Dukes. So it's, it's, that's one thing I won't buy at Aldi because I want my mayonnaise right. Let me get a spoon right here. Now, all I'm gonna do, I have a half a pound of breakfast sausage and a half an onion chopped that I browned together. And then you saw the cheddar cheese that I added. I didn't measure it. It's just whatever you would like. And probably about three ounces of cream cheese. Gonna put about a tablespoon in the crescent roll. Can you see? I think you can. And I'm rolling it up. And I'm gonna put the side down like this. I'll show you when I get them all done. But y'all, this is just something that I thought Today, you know, usually for lunch, we'll either have leftovers from the night before or I'll fix us a sandwich. During the summer months, we love our garden tomato sandwiches. Last night, Harold said, I wish we had some of our garden tomatoes, and I do too. They just don't taste right in the winter time to me. All right, I'm rolling these up. And, and uh, you know, one can will make eight of these. And remember, you don't have to use sauces. You don't have to put onions. If you want to add peppers, whatever. This is just my recipe. But it, that doesn't mean it's the best. I learn from everybody. I love watching these cooking shows. I have found uh, these two ladies and I wish I could remember their name. Um, Pinky Maws, I think. I'll find, I'll find it and tell you the next time I'm on. But it's two sisters, and y'all, they remind me of my mother's older sisters so much. And they cook, they make a lot of sweets that are just absolutely delicious looking. But I love watching them, and Brenda Gant, to me, can't be beat. And there's a lady from Louisiana that I love. I think it's Amy. I think her name is Amy, too. But I'm going to try to remember to have all of these names for you. Because we're not, none of us are in competition. I can tell you I'm not. And I don't believe any of them are. They're too sweet. You know... I sure didn't start this claiming to be the best cook because I know I'm not. But it kind of started 
as an accident. And then folks just kept liking it and following it. And then somebody said, do you have a cookbook? And I said, no. And they said, well, you need to have one. So I got busy on that. But can you see these? All right. I preheated my oven to 375 because that's what it says on here. And it says to cook them 9 to 12 minutes. That's the crescent rolls. Everything else is done. So I'm going to set my timer for 9 minutes and check it because, you know, I may have to add more time. But if I put it on the 12 minutes and it was too much, then I can't take that away. All right, I've set my timer for nine minutes and I'll check it and if it's ready, I'll come back then, but I'll be back after they're ready to come out of the oven. See you in a minute. Okay, I checked these at nine minutes and they were a little golden, but I left them 10 minutes and I'm about to take them out. Can you see? All right. What I'm going to do, they're hot, but I'm gonna take one of them and put it on my saucer and show you, you know, what it looks like. The bottom's good and brown. But while I had paused, I looked up two of the cooking shows that I really enjoy. And if you're not already watching them, I think you're gonna love them too. Um, the two ladies that remind me of my two aunts are on Pinky Ma's Cakes. It's spelled P-I-N-K-Y, Ma, M-A-S, Cakes, Pinky Ma's Cakes. And then the other lady that I just love, she talks as country as I do and you can't help it. But her uh, cooking uh, show is called Amy, Louisiana. You're gonna love those. I know you are, and I know most of you already watch Brenda Gant because she is really has lots and lots of followers, and rightly so because she is a great cook and a, a wonderful Alabama girl, too. But anyway, I'm gonna break this open and show you what it looks like inside. Can you see? I think you can. You know, the cook hates to brag on the food, but I'm gonna tell you that's good. Easy. I think kids would like it. And like I said, you don't have to use sausage. You can use hamburger meat or whatever you want and just add what, what seasonings you like because it's gonna be for you. But anyway, <clears throat> remember, one day this week, I'm gonna make my uh, cornbread dressing like we have on Thanksgiving. And um, I'm not gonna cook it though. And I'll probably triple my recipe because Thanksgiving is the one time a year when we have the whole family here. And uh, anyway, I'll share that with you. But y'all, I, I, think, I think there is um, a word that I need to give you. I, I think it is supposed to be for you. You know, in the Bible, when um, Jesus appeared to his disciples after he resurrected and everything, do you know what he said? Peace be with you. Peace. He wants us to have peace. And the only way we're going to have peace in this world is through Jesus. So, y'all be salt and light. My necklace says salt and light. You be the salt and you be the light of the world because the only way you're going to show light in this dark world is if you have Jesus in you. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll be back soon.